So now what we're going to do is the next part of the assignment. And in this situation, we are moving from alternative B to alternative C. The easiest way to do this is to make sure you mark this where the numbers are on your sheet. So the first thing is we want to know we're going from B to C. Okay? So in going from alternative B to alternative C, we are going from producing 6 units of steel to 10 units of steel. And then what we are doing is we are going down from 12 units of iron to 6 units of iron. Okay? Now, opportunity cost is what you give up to produce something else. You don't have to go to lunch right now. So, here's the situation. When you go from alternative B to alternative C, you're going to notice that you lose production of iron. And so the opportunity cost in the number of units is 6. You give up 6 units of iron. So what we would say is the opportunity cost in iron equals 6 units. 12 minus 6 equals 6. Alright, the next part it says suppose iron costs, excuse me, suppose iron costs $50 a unit. How much are you giving up? And how much do you have to charge for steel to make that money back and still make the same profit? So this is what you need to do. The first thing is you need to find out how much money you are going to lose. So we know that what we have in this situation is iron is $50 a unit. And we are losing six units. So what we do is we say $50 times the six units, these are the units that we lost, equals a total of $300. And so our opportunity cost in terms of dollars is $300. The next thing we want to know is that how much are we going to have to charge for this new steel that we're producing? Well, the question is, how many more units of steel are we producing? And if you look at it right here, we're going from 6 to 10. So what we are is, we are plus 4, excuse me, just use my hand right there, plus 4 units. Okay, so we, for these 4 units that we are going to sell, we need to get $300. So you take the $300, you divide it by now the four units of steel. And how much do you have to charge per unit? Well, 300 divided by four equals $75. So in order for the company to make the same profit, to break even on this, they have to charge at least $75 for each new unit of steel that they are producing so that they are able to make the same amount of money. And that's how you answer the second part of this question.